We probably all know about morning sickness. It's something that comes with an awful lot of pregnancies. But did you know you can also get nausea and vomiting that is so bad you can end up in hospital? Mm, it's called a hyperemesis gravidarum, or HG. You may remember that the Princess of Wales had it when she and she had to go to hospital with it when she was pregnant. Well, fashion blogger and model Amy Neville is just days away from having her second child and has suffered from HG with both of those pregnancies. She's now raising awareness. We spoke to her a little earlier and asked her exactly what the condition is. So high premises gravidarum is um, not morning sickness. I think a lot of people get confused and they do think it is morning sickness. It's actually a pregnancy disease. Um, my mum actually suffered 30 years ago and now I've obviously got it. She always said it was her fear that I'd actually get it. Um, and now I'm about to have another girl and I've got a daughter. I do worry that nothing's changing with it. And I don't want it to go another 30 years and nothing's done for it. Um, but yeah, 1% of women actually get it and not many people know about it. You can't even keep water down. I'm on medication at the moment, so I am able to function. Um, but yeah, it's just something that I really want to raise awareness for. And what are some of the other symptoms that you get and how does that compare with, with what yeah. many people go through, morning sickness? Yeah, um, I think with morning sickness, like you're sick and you can still function. With HG, you cannot function. Like I was in bed three months, bedridden. Um, I couldn't even eat like toast. Like that's how bad it is. Um, and like water would just all come back up. And there was one night my partner rang the ambulance and was like, you need to come and get her. Like, because she just, I couldn't function at all. I went down to six and a half stone. And you can't eat, like you need medication, you need to be hospitalised and I think not enough people, if you don't know about it, I thankfully knew from my mum, but if you don't know about mm. it, what do you do? It became known on the main stage when yeah. uh, Princess uh, Kate, the new Princess of Wales, when she yeah. had it with her pregnancies. Exactly. Uh, but even then, mm. since obviously she's had her children, there isn't that discussion yeah. about how, how bad this can be. Yeah, I think mentally as well for me, like I'm a really active person, I'm a workaholic and not being able to work, especially financially, it's really hard mm. because if you haven't got savings or a good partner, like how are you expected to do it? Because I was in hospital for weeks, um, I'd go in for IV drips, then come out and they couldn't get me on the right medication, made me more sick. Um, so it really does affect you mentally. Do you get the occasional, it's just morning sickness, yeah. would you just crack on? I've had that so many times and it really frustrates me. Bit, yeah. I get loads of messages on my Instagram like, oh, morning sickness, like sick a few times a day and you can carry on, you can't. And even now, like yesterday morning, I was my partner left for work and then I was lying on the floor throwing up because I didn't make it to the bathroom with my toddler. Like it's that bad that it takes, it dominates your whole life. Even now, like, I feel sick talking to you no, both. You can, you can really, you can really, really see yeah. how much it's impacted your oh, life. Yeah. And, you know, you're going through your second pregnancy, but at, there was a point yeah. where where you thought that maybe you don't want to continue yeah. with the pregnancy because that's how bad it yeah. was. Yeah, it got to 10 weeks and I actually begged the nurse. I said, please, I want to terminate. I can't do this. Um, and this pregnancy, we didn't actually plan because I thought I'd never go through it again. Because when of what I, happened with the, the first Yeah, one, when right? I had Harper, I was like, I'm never having another baby. <laughs> and then I got my life back and then I got pregnant again. Um, and actually miscarried in a weird way. Me and my partner were happy, which sounds awful. Mm. But he said, I'm just not ready to go through this because obviously it affects his work. He wasn't able to work as much juggling childcare um, and if you don't live near family well, look, it's awful. Amy you shouldn't have to do even think about having to yeah. terminate a baby uh, no, because of how much you struggle what kind of support yeah. needs honest, to be available is... for, for women who go through yeah. this? The sad thing is I don't think there is enough support pregnancy sickness support charity would have been amazing uh, they're the only ones I can say that are out there to support you like I went into the hospital and there wasn't much support mentally they'd put you on an IV drip you'd stay in a few days once you could start eating something they'd release you but that's not the point like there's so much more like when you're sat in bed for months on end thinking will this last my nine months of my pregnancy what are you meant to do like you can't make money like thankfully I had my Instagram and I have a, such an amazing community of women who are messaging me all the time and actually kept me going but pregnancy sickness support charity if anyone's suffering I want to like say reach out to them because they've messaged me every day well, thank you <laughs> very kept much me for going. coming in so I'm Aww. sure you've helped Somebody. Oh, I hope so, Hopefully, yeah. You know, well, two weeks. Talking about it. She'll be yeah. here. <laughs> Congratulations and all thank the best. Thank you. For you. <laughs> oh, thank you.